Hello, uh, my name's David. I'm a mechanic at a golf course. On a regular basis, I've got about 85 uh, club car precedents to uh, keep on the go. And uh, one, one of the um, common problems is when I get them in for maintenance is uh, the front ends are loose. And uh, sometimes uh, th this is uh, the, the spindle and uh, the king pin goes through it. The, um, even though it's got a grease fitting, somebody hasn't greased it um, regularly and they've just worn out. So the only cure for it is to uh, put new brass bushings in it and put a new king pin. Both of them are relatively cheap, okay? So for probably um, $25 uh, a side, you can get them going again. The thing that I've noticed is some of these didn't have a bushing like this that actually has a groove in it, if we can see that. And you really need that groove to allow the grease to go through and properly lubricate it. Now, I'm going to show you this is the way that I've found from experience to do this. It doesn't take any uh, great amount of skill once you've done it. It doesn't take any uh, special tools. Make sure you have glasses. Just a regular decent sized ball peen hammer and a regular cold chisel and of course you always make sure on a cold chisel that there's no sharp edges and as soon as there is make sure you put it on the grinder and clean it up okay now best way to do this is just take the top off I'm going to hit it make sure there's no, nothing around because it's pieces of it will go flying okay so here there that simple. So now just grab a socket that's uh, a little bit smaller than the uh, size of the hole. And you'll see that I'm actually pushing the bushing through now, just like what I wanted. So continue. And uh, everything's going quite well there. There you go. Okay, so now that the bushings are out, I'm going to start the new one in here. Doesn't really make a difference which way you put the uh, in the um, the bushing in. I usually do it so that the uh, groove is lined up with the grease fitting. Okay. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do <clears throat> is get it started and fairly straight. Take a little bit of uh, lubrication. That wasn't a good idea. Okay. Do that. Now, this is an old kingpin that I have, and you'll see that the uh, top thread is missing. I cut it off, and I put a l nice little chamfer on there, and then smoothed it down. Okay. And. Just spray it a little bit. Okay. Put it in. Put my glasses back on. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to pound it in till it's and leave about a quarter inch left on it, and then I'll start the other side. Okay. And that's pretty good right there. You see it turns nicely. Take the other new one, start it, and uh, just look for the groove on it. 
So I've got it facing the um, the grease fitting. Just going to tap it in. All I want to do is get it started and have it looking pretty even. Okay, that looks pretty good there. Just got a little bit of lubricant. We already have some lubricant on there. Okay. Now I'm going to start it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go into a leave about a quarter inch and then I'm going to go to the other side. Make sure everything's turning nicely. I'll go over here. It's turning nicely. I'll put this one, I can drive this all the way in now. And that's just what I want to see. Turning nice, it's not binding. Okay, it's nice. By having a little bit of a chamfer in there when I'm putting, uh, inserting that in, it helps to center it. Okay, and when I'm done, that's what you want to see. Okay, and from both sides. Great. You're off to the races. But you can put it back on the, uh, the cart and grease it. Um, save this. I've probably used this 20, 30 times already. And, uh, it works actually quicker and better than using a, a press. Okay? Because I can see as I'm going along that I'm sure that it's um, centered and it's turning freely, okay? And that's that. Um, all told, if I wasn't doing the video, it, it's only about a five minute job to do. And all you need is uh, a vise, a regular size hammer, regular size cold chisel, and you're done. So I hope uh, some of these tips that I showed you today uh, that you may be able to use and help you out in the future and uh, watch for some of my other videos to come up and please if you like them subscribe to my channel thanks